Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the previous videos, we covered how to initialize Firebase in different types of React applications, stuff like Create React App, Gatsby, and Next.js. Now let's focus on Firestore. Firestore is the cloud database that Firebase has to offer. In the next few videos, we're going to cover CRUD functionality. That means create, read, update, and delete. And in this video specifically, we're going to look at create, how to create documents in Firestore. And we do have some existing starter code. It's stored on GitHub and I'll put the link in the description below. Let's get started. So here is our create react app. We have Firebase initialized and we're exporting the Firestore client. And from the previous set of videos, We've already configured Firebase and created a Firestore database with a user's collection. Here's the React app, it's running, nothing is happening. So let's get in there and write a function that can create a user. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a file that's gonna hold all the functions for create, read, update, and delete, and we'll call it users.js. The very first thing we're gonna need to do here is import Firestore, the Firestore client, from our Firebase file. And now we can use that in the methods that do uh, the create process. So let's go ahead and make a function called create user. And this is going to be asynchronous because there is a network request. And this is going to take a user object. Now remember, Firestore is schema-less. It, it does not need a schema like SQL databases. So this user object could essentially be anything you'd like. All right, now we're gonna use Firestore and we're gonna call collection and we're gonna specify the user's collection that we created. And then add. This is a method that will create a new document and we'll pass it in user. Now this is an asynchronous call, so we will await the call and we will store that in a reference. The add method returns a document reference. And we'll talk about the difference between um, references and snapshots here in just a second. What I'd like to do is actually return the new user from this method. So we'll create an object called new user, which will have two properties really. It's the ID, which is the ref.id, and we'll spread in um, the user that we passed. Now we can console log this out and return it. Now I wanna take a second here and talk about this. When you add a document, it returns a reference to that document. It doesn't actually give you uh, the, the data itself. This is just a pointer to where it exists in Firestore. But we already have the data locally. We told it what to create. So the return of this function could just take what we already had, uh, add it as a part of this object, and then take the ID that Firestore generated for us automatically and put it on an ID property. That way we have the ability to reference this user later. And finally, let's not forget, we need to export our create user function. And now let's make an easy button on our page that we can just click to create a user. So we'll go over to app. And here we're just going to put like a big list of buttons that we can have to do all of our CRUD functionality. So we'll put a button called create user and we'll give it an action on click. And in here, let's go ahead and call our create user function that we just made. So we'll import create user from our users file. And the on click method will be an arrow function that will get invoked that calls create user. And then let's pass in an object. So let's say this user just has a name and it's my name, Brad Garropy. So now if we check our React application, 
Where is it? Right here. Now we have a button that says create user. So we're just going to check our users collection is empty. As we click this, we should get uh, the output of our ID and then the rest of the object that we created, which was name Rad Garapy. So if we go over into Firebase now, we can see it actually made it all the way to Firestore. Uh, this is the ID. And this is the uh, collection of data on that user. So that's it. That's how you create users in Firestore inside of a React application. In the next videos, I'll show you how to read, update, and delete those users. Thanks.